This screencast will demonstrate the core functionality of Agile's engineering collaboration platform. To begin, we will open an existing part from our file system. Now from this part, we want to create a design object in Agile. From the Agile menu, I will click Save. And this will bring up the Agile EC client. Now within the client, I can select a checkbox to do what's called an interactive save. So I'll check that and click OK. And here we can see all of the design attributes in Agile PLM that we can set per our configuration in Agile EC. Also, if we wanted to, we could choose an auto number and renumber this particular part. For the sake of the demonstration, we will just do a basic save without setting of these, any of these attributes. So we'll click OK. Now let's see what happened in Agile. So we'll do a search for our part. And here we can see that a design object was created. If we look at the Files tab, we can see that the native CAD file made it into Agile as well. Now let's follow the process with an assembly. To do so, we'll minimize Agile. And I need to clear this part out of my Pro Engineer session. And I have a local assembly that I will open up. From the Agile menu, I will select Quick Save. I'm using Quick Save because I don't need to change any of the Agile attributes. If I did, I could choose Save and do an interactive save and set the attributes to my liking. So EC has created all of the design objects in Agile. And let's go take a look at what happened. We will search on Bearing. And here we can see that design objects were in fact created not only for the assembly, but for all of its dependencies. If we open it up, we can see that uh, we have some structure. And we also have the native CAD file that was attached. And we will open that up in auto view. So here is the design object as seen in auto view. And later we will show this, uh, show the part in auto view as well. So speaking of parts, let's go back to Pro Engineer and we will select Agile Create Item Bomb. And here we will select all of our objects that we want to publish. We will do an assign all. And while we're at it, let's create a change order by right-clicking and selecting Create New Change. As you can see, it pulled the auto number, and we will do a publish. Now let's see what happened in Agile. So if we refresh our design object here, you'll immediately notice that we have relationship now to a part. So let's select that part. And we will select the revision the ECO is on. So our bomb transferred and we can see the change. Let's select the change and take a look at the affected items. Now if we select the assembly, we can once again see that the structure has transferred under the BOM tab. 
Going back to the assembly, let's open this up in auto view. And here you can see the agile part open in auto view.